This video talks about the sympathetic and the parasympathetic pathway. The receptors, their neurotransmitters, how they really work. And this is a quick and easy review of the whole system. So let's get right into it. So let's imagine that this purple thing that we have here is our central nervous system. And the central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. So this is an easy picture to kind of depict the central nervous system. So from the central nervous system, we have the parasympathetic nervous system that's coming out and the sympathetic nervous system that's coming out. Now, there is something common between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic pathway. And the, the commonality between the two is that they are a disynaptic pathway. What does disynaptic pathway mean? Disynaptic pathway means that there is a nerve coming out from the central nervous system, making a synapse, at the ganglion and from the ganglion there is another nerve which is going to an effector organ or a muscle or wherever it needs to go so this kind of two nerve pathway is common between the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system okay so that that's why it's called the autonomic nervous system is a disynaptic pathway and this round thing right here is the autonomic ganglion that it makes the synapse now that is a similarity between the two now let's come and talk about the difference. So when a nerve goes from the parasympathetic nervous system right here, the preganglionic nerve, it makes a synapse with our autonomic ganglion. Once it makes synapse, there is another nerve which is coming from here onto the effector cell. Now this is our effector cell. So what are some of the examples of parasympathetic effector and organ? Well, it can go to cardiac, it can go to glands, in the cardiac it's going to decrease heart rate, in the glands it's going to increase secretions, we all know that, right? And it can even go to smooth muscles. So that's our effector and organ for our parasympathetic nervous system. Now let's talk about something else. So what's important to understand here is the receptors, the neurotransmitters that are also involved. Because based on which receptor it synapses or which neurotransmitter is released makes it sympathetic or parasympathetic. What do I mean by that? So when this nerve is coming to this autonomic ganglion, okay, if I kind of blow up this picture, so this is my synapse at the end of the autonomic ganglion, right? It's going to make another synapse with my autonomic ganglion. And this is my preganglionic nerve, which is coming from the peripheral nervous system. It's going to secrete a neurotransmitter, a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. This acetylcholine is going to stimulate our autonomic ganglion. Autonomic ganglion is then again going to get stimulated and make another synapse here with our effector organ. And what is this? This is our parasympathetic nervous system. Now, the neurotransmitter that's here, which is the postganglionic nerve, the neurotransmitter that is going to be released by the postganglionic nerve, is also going to be acetylcholine. So what do we have here? We have neurotransmitter acetylcholine right here. And we have neurotransmitter acetylcholine here as well. Okay? This is how it is for a parasympathetic system. Now, the receptor onto the end organ that it's going to synapse with is going to be called muscarinic receptor, which is... Which is um, denoted by the letter M, okay? So this M is a muscarinic receptor where acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter which is stimulating or binding to this receptor. Again, at the level of the autonomic ganglion, we also have acetylcholine which is stimulating the autonomic ganglion and making the synapse go through. 
Now, this receptor right here at the level of the autonomic ganglion, this receptor is called nicotinic receptor, which is denoted by the letter N. Now, I will talk about it later on, but usually this N is followed by a smaller subscript. And this small N means nerve. So again, we have the preganglionic nerve coming from the central nervous system and that nerve impulse is uh, transmitted by the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. It's stimulating the nicotinic receptor of the autonomic ganglion. This nicotinic receptor is called NN because the smaller subscript N uh, refers to the fact that it's stimulating another nerve directly. That nerve, which is the postganglionic nerve, is carrying the impulse onto the effector muscle, effector organ, and stimulating or binding to the muscarinic receptor. Here, the name of the receptor is muscarinic. Again, the stimulation is achieved by the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. So far, so good, right? 